Comparison is the killer of joy. And I think what we all want for ourselves is like, we want to feel free to create. We want to feel confident about our creations. We want to feel good, right? That's what we're striving to do. I think by constantly comparing ourselves to other artists and to what's out there and the next big thing and all this stuff, it, we're going to feel down, right? We're not going to feel good about it. We're not going to feel good about what we create. We're going to hate our own work. We're going to feel like we're not good enough. We're going to be stuck in these negative thoughts because we're always comparing ourselves to somebody else. So why is this such a big problem? Why is comparison, comparing ourselves to other people or our art to other people's art, why is this such a problem? Don't get me wrong. There's times where it's, it's good to compare your art, right? If you're trying to improve and you want to learn some kind of specific thing, you know, compare your color to somebody else's color. If you're trying to get your color to look more like theirs or look more professional in some way, you know, it's okay to compare just a little bit, you know, um, just to get a, a greater understanding. We're trying to build an understanding. That's really the reason for comparing, right? Or that's what we want to be the reason for comparing. The problem is we don't want to be like anyone else. You know, we, we have to understand that we will never be those people. We will never be them. And it doesn't matter if, if we feel that we're as good as them or if we're ever going to be as good as them. This is all subjective, right? Art is subjective for the most part. So whatever you feel is good, somebody else may not agree with that. So it all comes down to yourself and how you feel about yourself. And we have to, we have to come to the realization that we have to accept ourselves. We have to be kind to ourselves, realize that we'll never be that other person and that they have different experiences than us. We have different experiences than them. We've lived a different life. We have different tastes. We have different skills. We're different human beings. It's so important to understand that it's a useless pursuit. It's a useless pursuit to compare yourself to other artists. Art is such a personal thing, right? We don't want to be anybody else. We don't want people to look at our art. And if it looks like somebody else's art, we're only going to be, everyone's just going to compare us to the source, right? They're going to compare us to that other person that's maybe more famous than us or more well-known or whatever the case may be. This is not something we want. This is a useless pursuit. So before I go any further in this video, I want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. There's one class that has really changed my process, the way that I document my life and the way that I do things, and it's by Nathaniel Drew called Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally. This class really helped me to understand the best way to document my life that would work for myself. And the way that Nathaniel Drew walks through all these steps, the way the class is structured, everything is very easygoing and very authentic. And uh, it's a class I really enjoy. And I feel more confident when I'm out about in the world to be able to, to document things that really matter to me rather than capturing everything. Uh, the cool thing I like about Skillshare is that there are new premium classes launched each week. So there's always something new to discover. And all the videos are ad-free, uh, which helped me to stay in the zone while learning new skills. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. All right, so let's get back into comparing our art to other people's art or comparing ourselves and our abilities to other people's abilities. So what should we do instead? If we're not gonna compare ourselves to others, what should we do? How, how can we go about this? What, what's the thing that we should do? And this is what I try to do. I compare myself, my current self, to my past self. We are, there is no competition, right, with other people, with other art. There is enough room in the world for everybody to express themselves the way that they feel, whatever comes naturally to them. And that's what I try to do is just express myself as naturally as possible, as authentically as possible, and uh, create art that is in that same line, right? that is just me, because if I express myself just naturally, all of my art is gonna create some kind of style, and I'll be known for the art that I create, the art that looks like mine, and doesn't look like anybody else's, because 
if we compare ourselves to other people and we make our art look like theirs, and people, people that see our art, they're going to compare. Now they're going to compare. They're going to compare our art to other people's art. So there's always going to be this kind of comparison game. And that's what we kind of want to get away from. You know, we want to compare ourselves currently to our past self. Have we improved? Are we getting better? What is changing? Are we evolving? Are we adapting? What is going on, right? That's, that's what I feel like we should compare. Compare yourself currently to your past self. And I really feel by doing this, by just getting off social media, just stop looking at so much art, stop looking at other people's art, create your own, you know, do that for like a week or two. Like don't consume as much anymore. Don't consume social media. Don't consume other people's art and just focus on creating your own art and see what happens. See if there's a change. Uh, see if there's a change with your art. See if there's a change within your mind and how you feel with your emotions. I really feel that by doing this, you're going to feel more free to create. You're going to feel more confident about what your creations and what you're doing. And I think that's so important, right? That's really what we're striving to do. You know, we don't, we want to be happy with what we create and we want to stop comparing ourselves to others. That's really the key to joy and enjoying what you do, feeling free and confident. Hope you found this valuable. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.